Stony Brook heads into this weekend's America East playoffs with a 7-6 record. Those seven losses by a total of 12 points. Scoring has not been a problem, and our Aaron Colton found out it comes from all over North America. They say Canada's two biggest exports are cold fronts and hockey players. Keep it in! Keep it in! Keep it in! Now you can add some guys with different sticks to that list. It's about getting better, fellas. Got to get better. Here we go. Three of Stony Brook's most powerful lacrosse players were born and bred in New Westminster, British Columbia. It's such a small community. My grandpa played, my uncle played. So it just kind of, it comes naturally to you almost in New West to just pick up a lacrosse stick as opposed to like a hockey stick. And they're using those lacrosse sticks to live their dream on Long Island. While growing up you hear about people you're looking up to, you got the posters on your wall and it, it says you'll talk about their hometowns and a lot of the time it'll be a place on Long Island or a place in Maryland. Get it up top and we get a dodge, get out of there Jordan. Perhaps the Canadian making the biggest headlines right now is freshman Jordan McBride who's, well, coach? What is he? I refer to him as a score machine. I mean, he can score the ball. And if he gets his hands free and, and um, you know, he's got a second, you know, he's got a second to get a shot off, it, it usually is going to be on goal and in, a, and in a pretty good spot. Yeah, I think every team should have a Canadian, a couple Canadians or something, because they just can put the ball in the net. I'd say so, considering Jordan put the ball in the net 10 times against Delaware earlier this season, breaking a Stony Brook record. Have you had a freshman come out of the gates like this ever? No, never. I mean, he, and again, we thought it was pretty good, <laughs> but we didn't think, you know, 10 goals against Delaware. I remember after the game, I came up to Jordan and I asked him, I was like, Jordan, like, how many, how many do you have? He's like, I don't even know. And you scored 10 goals, 12 points. And, uh, what was that like? I don't know, I guess they weren't checking it very well. Being in some of those close games and you look at the scoreboard, the Delaware game, just looking at the scoreboard after felt like 19-16 and I had a like, very big part in that win, so that just looking at the scoreboard after felt real good. There is an explanation for Canadians being big goal scorers. North of the border, the game is called box lacrosse, and it's a lot tougher, making American lacrosse easier to pick up. Box is played in like a hockey rink, and the net's a lot smaller, so I think that's why we have an advantage in scoring on the big nets, and our goalies are a lot bigger. Temperatures today at Laval Stadium make it feel like a typical Canadian day. We are still more than 3,000 miles away from British Columbia, so it begs the question, how do players like Jordan end up here on Long Island? He was at this camp, and I guess beauty's in the eye of the, eye of the beholder because all the other college coaches were there. I mean, I mean, it's the most you know sought after camp for college coaches. So um, he was there. We saw him play. Me and my assistant back a couple years ago. We liked what we saw. And from there, it's word of mouth, using other Canadian players to be the coach's eyes back home. They'll come down and be like, "Oh, we heard about this guy from uh, your hometown. Is he any good? Or is he?" You know, they'll ask questions, and if you've heard of him, they they, they kind of use you as a tool. You I think we're going to see more of an influx of Canadians coming here to play lacrosse? Um, definitely, definitely because of uh, like even Jordan, like we were, we were trying to get another Canadian down here for next year. Canada may be cold, but it sure produced a couple of hot players. I don't care where they come from, but if they can help me win games, you know, that's, that's the guy I'm looking for. One, two, three. Work it on.